Greetings YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with a quick pickup video. Uh, as I'm doing this video, my review for Ultimate Kicks is processing and will already be up before this video is up. So yeah, Ultimate Kicks, uh, I did not just pick this up, I'm just saying I just finished working on that. That's why it's out. It's not part of the pickup, so I've had it for a while. Okay, um, a few different odds and ends here. Nothing really spectacular. I'll go with the really boring stuff first. If this is just a uh, uh, Game Boy Advance SP, it's a dollar ninety nine. It's dollar ninety nine. Valley Village. Uh, I don't have a Game Boy Advance SP, but I will be getting one shortly. Uh, this is also three ninety nine at Value Village. Uh, again, not too exciting. It's a GameCube power supply plus the AV cables, um, which is the main reason I got this because. As you know, they will work with um, Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo 2, same cord. So, 3.99. It's always good to have one of those. Uh, same value village that I got that. I also put, picked up this interesting little guy. Uh, I took the batteries out, so I can't show you it, but it does work. Two bucks. Uh, Entex Baseball 3. This is from 1980. Uh, there's a, this is the third version of this. this is, uh, I think old school NYC Gamer has one of these too different version. Uh, this comes out, trust me, it does. Yeah, there you go. There's a the wire, so, for two players. You can also play as one player. It is actually a, a pretty, pretty fun game. Um, I believe at the same store I also got, yeah, I did get these two Genesis games. A pack of two for four dollars, so two dollars each. Uh, I didn't mainly get it for that baseball, sports stock. Um, I got it for this one because uh, I've mentioned before that Video Pinball, it, I'm, I'm a big fan of Video Pinball, but I'm also a big fan of this genre of video game too, and it's pool. It's the side pocket. And this one is complete and in really nice shape. And side pocket is a pretty decent pool game to the Genesis. Um, Wii! Wii! I got this for the Wii. And being the retro gamer that I am, this really appealed to me been out for a while, but it's Geometry Wars Galaxies. Now one thing I did find with this game, it doesn't work really well uh, with the motion controls. At least I have a very difficult time controlling it, so I'm going to go out and get one of the uh, the classic controllers, I think, which would be better suited because it has the, uh, yeah, I believe it has the dual analog sticks. So since this is kind of like a Robotron style of game, you really need that kind of control. Okay, um, oh yeah, um, handheld games. Uh, a couple of uh, Game Boy Advance games. Again, I'm getting one soon. This one was in the $2 bin, and I looked at some video of it, and apparently I wasted $2. Quad Desert Fury. I thought, well, it's a racing game, but it does not look very good. And uh, Steve Benway was showing off his collection of retro compilations, and he had this one, I believe, too. Pac-Man collection. That one was $4, so that was a good pickup. Uh, Value Village also had a pack of six Game Boy games for ten dollars. So what does that work out to be? Uh, six, like a dollar fifty each. Um, I already traded in a couple of them, but I kept these ones. Did not know they made Lock and Chase for the Game Boy. It's not bad. Um, track and Field. Those aren't bad. Uh, Donkey Kong Land. I thought it was Donkey Kong Country. This is apparently not the same game. And the one I was most excited about was this one, R-Type DX, which has uh, two R-Type games on it. And finally, for $4 at Cash Converters, I was surprised it was this cheap, but I got this mostly for my daughter, but I played it too. It's for the DS. It's uh, Mario Kart DS. Just loose for $4, but really good price. It's, it's actually a really good, really good game. Um, this was kind of interesting. Um, I picked this up. I was in London, Ontario, which is MN12 Birds territory. So sorry, Jake. I was in, I was there a couple weeks, three weeks back, and I was passing through, and I stopped there, and I picked up this um, centipede. It's a tiny little handheld. It actually looks like a little little arcade game. So I was going to leave this sealed, but you know what? I am going to open it. 
and I'll open it all just kind of demonstrate it really quick if I can find two working double A batteries so just put that off to the side for now and the final pickup was from another local collector uh, calls himself Brett well he doesn't call himself Brett that is his name <laughs> he goes by uh, Coleco Hitman on Atari age so any of you have been on Atari age uh, he, he messaged me saying that he had this could I use it because he can't it's the tape drive 410 for the Atari 8-bit line of computers and it came with one cassette game uh, Spider Quake now it does work I've loaded it and I've tried it I was gonna do a review of this and I probably still will problem is it's really hard to find any information on this game it's a very obscure game it's kind of a, it's actually a Frogger clone but I'll probably do that I just gotta dig a little deeper okay one second and I'll open up the centipede package okay here we go with the centipede the little joystick part is on the back there so I hate these kind of packages they're so hard to open I was originally like I said I was originally gonna keep this sealed but I don't really think it's there's a real value to this thing Ooh, I like that new plastic smell. Okay. Whew. Got real arcade sound. Get out! Okay, so, where'd the joystick go? That goes in here, I guess. Yeah? Okay. There it is. Little unit. Kind of cool. The artwork is really good. Alright, um... Oh, caca. One second. Okay. Got it together. Get it together, man. Oh. Life and such. Alright. Put it up a little higher. Oh, there's a camera. Oh, you can see the reflection of the camera. Isn't that cool? Okay. Let's turn it on. And it works. I don't know how well you're going to see this. Ugh. Okay. Start attack. Um, oh, you can see my face. Don't see my face. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Okay, it's an interesting little game. It's really hard trying to control this through the view screen of the camera. Not the best way to do a video gameplay. I think Steve Benway can attest to that. Come on, move, move sideways. Okay. Oh, I gotta click it better. Okay. Move up and down. Side to side. Shooting stuff. Well, okay. That's it. Centipede. Yeah, it's more of a display piece, I would think. That's something you would play on a regular basis. Uh, it came with one of these. Just a little um, thing. They sell a lot of Bratz stuff. But right here, you can see they made five of these. There's Pac-Man. I don't know how well you can see the centipede, of course. We've got uh, Asteroids. Or no, what is that one? Oh, Missile missile Command, Super Breakout, and Asteroids. So they made five of these little doohickeys. Shh! No one wants to hear from you anymore. Anyway, those are Atari Leaf pickups for today. Shut up! Bye, everybody.